In 2018, astronomers were studying a special star orbiting our galaxy's supermassive black hole. The star passes close to Sagittarius A star every 16 years. It's called S2. And by studying this star's flyby, we hope to learn more about Sagittarius A star. We think that S2 may be the very closest star to the supermassive black hole in the center of our galaxy. At closest approach to Sag A star, S2 comes within 17 light hours or so of the surface. The supermassive black hole's powerful gravity accelerates the star to 17 million miles an hour. That's fast enough to travel from New York to LA in half a second. But it's not the star's speed that excites scientists. This is a great star because it's on an elliptical orbit that takes it fairly far from the black hole, but every few years it passes right above the supermassive black hole. As we tracked S2's swing around Sagittarius A star, we detected powerful bursts of infrared light coming from the direction of the supermassive black hole. There's a blob of gas that is orbiting very close to the black hole, and it was flaring as it went around. There were three separate flares of light that they were able to detect. The flares didn't come directly from the supermassive black hole. They came from the material around it. The flares that were discovered are thought to originate from magnetic storms and this very, very hot, turbulent gas around the black hole. The extreme heat in the accretion disk strips electrons from atoms of gas. The stripped electrons and hot gas form a plasma which creates powerful magnetic fields when accelerated to high speeds. Because some supermassive black holes have these superheated, rapidly spinning vortices of gas swirling around them, you get these very, very powerful, very tightly wound magnetic fields. And there's energy stored in that magnetic field. It's like a bunch of piano wires all tangled up. And if these things interact with each other, they can snap. And when they snap, that energy is released. You get this enormous release of energy as these coils of magnetic fields effectively snap. And when they do so, just like on the surface of our sun, they release an enormous flare of gas. These powerful flares can be millions of miles wide and come packed with superheated gas and plasma. Solar flares release as much energy as 10 million volcanic explosions. Flares from Sagittarius A star's accretion disk are like millions of solar flares all going off at once. It's kind of like comparing a nuclear weapon to a firecracker. Sagittarius A-star's flares release intense blasts of radiation. But by watching the flares from Earth, we can learn about the orientation of the supermassive black hole's accretion disk. This gas that's in this accretion disk around the black hole is like a friendly helper shining a flashlight back toward Earth. And we can watch the orbit of these flashlights and help understand the orientation of gas that swirls around the black hole. We think we're getting a bird's eye view of it and looking down the barrel or looking at the accretion disk basically face on. That means that any material that gets blasted away from the black hole could be aimed right at us. Should we be worried about the flares reaching Earth? It sounds worrisome, this blob of gas emitting these huge flares of light. But you gotta realize, this is 26,000 light years away. That is a long way. It took an extremely sensitive detector on one of the largest telescopes on Earth to be able to see this at all. Earth is safe for now. But the more we learn about the galaxy's center, 
the more terrifying it becomes. We know of Sagittarius A star, the central supermassive black hole, but now we're beginning to suspect that it might not be alone. A dangerous swarm of black holes could be racing around the center of the Milky Way. Thousands more may be hiding from sight. The supermassive black hole, Sagittarius A star, dominates the center of the Milky Way, affecting star formation and carving out vast gas bubbles in space. But Sagittarius A star might not be the only black hole in town, or even the most dangerous. We've known for a long time that there's a supermassive black hole in the very heart of our galaxy, but there may be an angry swarm of smaller black holes buzzing all around it. In April of 2018, astronomers led by Columbia University revealed the results of a hunting mission in the center of the galaxy. They'd used 12 years of Chandra Observatory data to seek out stellar mass black holes. Black holes that are made from the death of stars from supernova explosions are called stellar mass black holes. And these are made from stars that were many times the mass of the sun. Finding stellar mass black holes is tough. Light can't escape a black hole's gravity, so we can't see them directly. And stellar mass black holes are only tens of miles wide, making them almost impossible to detect. So astronomers look for a special type of stellar mass black hole. One of the ways that we look for stellar mass black holes is that they often are vampires eating a companion star. These vampires are part of a binary pair, a stellar mass black hole in orbit with a living star, the black hole feasting on its partner. That black hole is like a very, very deadly parasite for that star. It is ripping mass off the surface of that star, and that matter is raining down toward the black hole itself. And that material lights up. So this allows us to hunt for black holes, not through taking pictures of black holes directly, but through seeing the material falling to its doom. Problem is, gas and dust spread throughout the galaxy stops visible light from the binary pair reaching Earth. But the binary pair release another type of light that passes through the gas and dust more easily, X-rays. The system itself is emitting X-rays, so they're called X-ray binaries. So these are useful because the X-ray emission can be very powerful and can be potentially seen from the Earth, even though the binary is very far away, say at the galactic center. The glowing disks of material in X-ray binary systems are almost a million times smaller than the accretion disk surrounding Sagittarius A star. Too small for us to see the material swirling around them in detail. So, we see the X-ray binaries as pinpricks of X-ray light. 